Alright, uh, welcome back to One Life to Live. This is the second episode, or technically episode one, the way I'm doing things. This is the first uh, episode, and we already have a quest that we're going to investigate. We're going to try to talk to people about um, the missing tax collector. Uh, I know uh, who, like, who is involved with the disappearance of the tax collector. But uh, yeah, sorry. I'm listening. The day and is yours. I think theoretically I should be able to beat the guy. But we could very well end up with a another Caius Volga scenario where I get a little overconfident. Um, anyways, yeah, I may, um, I may get this character killed just as fast as I got, uh, Caius Volga killed, if I continue to go after this quest. So I think what I need to do for this quest, actually, is I need to just wander off into the night until I find the guy's dead body. Uh, so do I... Do I still have water walking? I failed casting a spell. Alright. I will definitely have the night eye added in post production so you guys can see. Um, in fact, if you're watching this, you probably already see it. Alright, let's nuke this guy. Suffer, and please, please don't drop the frames. All right, so I'm hearing peaceful exploring music. I need to find some guy's corpse. I'm trying to remember where exactly his corpse is. I seem to remember it being relatively close-ish. But he was basically, like, dragged to the outskirts of the town by someone. I may actually have to wait until morning. So I will go back and rest up. I think this place has a... I think Aril's Trade House also doubles as a uh, tavern. Could be wrong. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna check around and see if I can actually find a tavern, though. If I, uh, if I can't find a tavern, then I might actually just not do the tax collector quest and just go straight to Balmora. That actually seems like a safer bet. Yeah, come on, damn it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to Balmora. I'll come back to this quest. Confirmed. I'm pussying out. Aha. Any time now. Well, I do apologize for uh, pussing pussying out of the quest, but. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to be a very interesting series if the character, you know, like Caius Volga, about seven minutes into the next adventure just gets murdered. Uh, Balmora. 
phase zoned out there for a second. Apologies. So first thing I'm going to do is we make a special trip just for you. Talk to Caius Cosades like I did that one time. Nice water. When I was a when I was a kid, uh, back in the day when like Morrowind pretty much first came out, I was actually living in Germany and my dad uh, bought the game. And my sister and I were watching him play it, and we were so enamored, enamored with Balmora as a city concept that we, like, drew up plans for a version of it to be made, like, out of wood and stuff. Never made it, obviously, but, um, but it was, it was a fun, like, idea. All right, so go ahead. I think actually, now that we've done the thing for Caius, yes. Oh, How okay. Can I help you? So, unfortunately, resting will not heal up our magicka, but that's exactly what the Guild of Mages is for. I'm gonna go there, buy some alchemical stuff. And see about making some nice potions. I'll also uh, buy some spells um, if I need them. And once I join, I will also be able to just freely loot uh, potions from the supplies chest. Hello, Guild of Mages. Alright, um... Alright, so I don't think I talked to you to join the Guild of Mages. I think I talked to this grumpy Dunmer here. Join the Guild of Mages? Yes! Congratulations, you're a, guild of, you're a member of the Guild of Mages. Yay. Alright, duties. Ajira may have some tasks Outland. for me to do. What do you uh, want? But supply chest. A and fortify willpower, whatever. All right, these these scrolls are amazing. Um, CV intervention and divine intervention. So what those will do? Ooh. And cure disease. Delicious. Alright, so what those scrolls would do is if we're in a pickle, we equip the scroll, use it, and boom, get teleported to a temple. Safe and sound. Alright, so. Uh, Ajira, yes. Uh. Up in a fight, local brews. Let's let's talk about duties. All right, local mushrooms. So I need to pick up luminous rosola, violet coprinus, coprinus, yeah, coprinus, bungler's bane, and hypha fascia. All right. So she wants to. Uh, so she says the easiest way is, is to go south along the river Odai until you see a wooden bridge across the bridge. Or across the river. <laughs> bridge across the bridge. Get out of the river there and find a path west over the hills. Uh, let's see. The river Odai. The Odai is the river right here in Balmora. Goes right through the middle of town. So, basically, uh, go south following the river until there's a bridge. All right. Alternatively, we could just go to Sedanine. I believe that's on the Bitter Coast. Yeah, bunglers, bangers, and trees. <laughs> Don't eat it. That's good advice. Um, 
Hyphophasia looks like Bungalow's Bane. And I can eat it. I just need to make sure it's not Bungler's Bane. Rusella's on the shore, smelly toadstool, brown on top. Copernus, long stemmed, glows blue at night. I think I saw some of those in uh, Seda Neen. I could be wrong though. Oh, and uh, I will actually want to go ahead and drinky drinky some potions so I don't get totally fucked. Let's uh, go with a pussy save. Or, as I like to refer to them as, crash preventative saves. And let's head on out. I'm gonna go along the road to the south, and I am currently heading to the south. This is a very familiar path you'll have to take in Morrowind quite a bit. Um, also, if you guys have played the later Elder Scrolls games like Oblivion and Skyrim, then you will be very familiar with the concept of fast travel. Morrowind has none. So, just a forewarning, I guess. I feel like... I feel like there could be some shrooms around here. Alright, so that's the river bridge she uh, told us about. But I have a feeling we will probably see some stuff on the trees around here. I could be wrong, though. I will reiterate, I am not really an expert. And, uh, if you remember the disclaimer I gave in the first episode of this series. Okay, I heard a unpleasant sound. Sounded like a scrib. Ah, yes. Oh, you've got to be can Come on. I want you. Yeah, anyways, if you remember the disclaimer I gave... I've never beaten this game, uh, mostly because I'm an I was an, impa an impatient little youngster when I played it quite a bit. I guess that guard was right. We are expecting rain, apparently. Alright. I can't give these guys alcohol, they're minors. <laughs> nah. Um, so yeah, let's... Let's search around here first. And I'm actually going to switch away from, from Fireball to Spark. Because if I get ambushed at close range, I do not want, want an AoE spell. That would be very bad. What the fuck? Are there supposed to be leaves like falling out of the tree? That's that's weird. But hey, what do you expect from an old game that's been modded beyond its original recognition? Um. Yeah. So let's just go take the Silt Strider back to the Sadenine. Something about running off into the wilds as a flimsy little mage in a permadeath playthrough during a thunderstorm. Something about that just seems like a terrible idea. Plus, I also want to check out and see if I can buy any spells such as levitation, see if I can grab those shrooms. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Uh, something that Morrowind has that the later Elder Scrolls don't have is you can actually use like levitation spells and stuff like that. Alteration is actually good. Please stay away, Scrib. Oh yeah, by the way, Scribs are nasty. If I'm not mistaken, they're the ones that can like paralyze you. It's not fun. It was either them or Kwama. Oh, well, okay, I guess they're just totally harmless then. Because apparently I blew past that one without even caring.
do 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 just jumping along sing the song side by side all right so yeah let's take the lovely creature known as a silt strider to say the mean that's on the bitter coast i'm pretty sure man we make us by the end of this character's life i'm gonna be a pretty good no jumper whoops oh yeah something else you can do uh, you can admire them, you can intimidate them, you can taunt them, and you can also bribe them. Bribery is a surefire way to get them to like you. Sometimes it doesn't work, though. Where would you like to? All right, so those look like those. Oh no, those look like those blue mushrooms I need. So violet Copernicus. Wait a second. I'm gonna make sure I don't have like any of the things already. Wouldn't that just be stupid? If like I went on this crusade only to find out that I already had this shit. Alright, so I have the violet stuff. Please no bad monster. Luminous Rosella. Um, Bungler's Bane, hey! Alright, well, I think. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's all I needed to do. Alright, remember, kids, don't go along the scary road to find the mushrooms you're looking for. Just go to Sadanin. While I'm here. No. Resist the urge. Resist the urge, John. That's just gonna get your character killed. Wait until you've leveled up, and then come back. Balmora! Where would you like to go? All right, so let's go tell the crackhead that we grabbed her stuff. Isn't this exciting? Actually, making progress. Ha ha ha! Hopefully, the Dark Brotherhood doesn't try to knife fuck me in the night. If that happens, I'm toast. Any time now. Uh, yep. Oh, wait, how many samples do I need? Scent is unfamiliar. I need samples of Luminous Rusula, Violet Cro- Oh, do I not have the Violet Copernus? I've got the Luminous Rusa, I think. So let me see. Uh, Violet Copernus. Willow Anther. Um... Hyphafasia, Luminous Rusella, and what was the other one? It was Bungler's Bane, right? Come on, goddammit. I don't think I picked up the bungler's bane for some reason. Nice rope. Yeah, so I think I fucked up and didn't grab the bungler's bane. Even though I thought it said bungler's bane harvested. Um, apparently not, though. Hey, Nard. All right, let's go grab some uh, Bungler's Bane again. Hey. Let's 
Theta Neen. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. All right, we're back here again. Yay. Bungler's Bane. Bungler's Bane. Bungler's Bane. So I definitely have Bungler's Bane. Alright, so let's see. And just in case she wants four, I've got five Luminous... Luminous Rasula. Four Violet... whatever the fuck. Copernus. Copernus. This was four pods. Three delicious, delicious Bungler's Bane. One Hyphophasia. So let's go ahead and just grab some more samples of each, I guess. I was uh, strafing because I had to scratch my eyebrow. Bitches. Fucking hair. So I think in the last episode of the, uh, or the first episode of the Kaisa Crusades one, I mentioned something like, uh, I thought everything was out to get me, uh, when I was, like, a kid and playing this game. And, uh, I would like to make a correcting statement in regards to that. Uh, I thought everything was out to get me. Little did I know that in this game, everything is out to get you. So, I guess rather than a con than a uh, correction, it's more of a uh, confirmation. Yeah, in this game, everything wants to kill you. Everything is out to get you. So, be very careful. And be afraid. Be very afraid. But also have fun. Hey, shit, Lord. Alright. Let's see. It would be so lucky if there was like... Oh. Bungler's Bane. Hyphophasia. So now I just need two more Hyphophasia. Unless I'm just wasting my time and gathering unnecessary ingredients. That is a very distinct possibility, mind you. What I would give for a levitate spell. Not that I really need it at this moment, but I would love a levitate spell right now. Just f fly around like a maniac. Cackling. And you know what? I should not have sold some of those torches. Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Nope. Uh, alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we've officially survived our first combat. That caught me off guard. All right. Have a fast you. Hypophasia? Hypophasia. Alright, so. Four Hypophasia. Four Bungler's Bane. Alright. One mug crab later and I have everything I need. Let's hope I don't find any more mug crabs. Also, I could have sworn they did more damage than that. But, I am so glad to be wrong. 
like, totally honest, I thought I had just died there. And then I noticed it only knocked, like, a sliver of my health off. I was like, oh, it's on. You guys also probably saw me go, Dude! You want yeah. something, friend? Whenever that mug crab bit Speak my cankles, me, uh, had a bit of a miniature heart attack. Alright, well. Some bloodshed later, and that's one quest complete. That's mildly unpleasant. Oh boy! Why walk when you can ride? Alright, time to hop our way back to the Guild of Mages and then go to Caius Cosade's house. Uh, to sleep. Because we're gonna need to sleep that one off. Any more supplies? No. For shame. All right, crack whore, got your shit. Its scent is unfamiliar. Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally bumped my mic. Um, okay, so it turns out I was wasting my time. I only needed one of each, but she gave me some potions. That's nice. Uh, do you have? You do. You do have alchemy stuff. Uh, so let's go with um. Everything. Oh, wait. Does she have a non master's mortar and pestle? Let's just uh, drop that down a bit. Well, thank you, coming again. Sweet school. Yeah, so that's why I called her a crack horse. She's like, sweet school. How much do I need to level up? Because it seems like I'm, I've been getting a lot of acrobatic skills. Um, right, level one. Hey, I'm nowhere near it. That feels good. What is this about? Do you? All right, spells. Oh, oh, that's so discriminatory. You're not good enough. Do you happen to have? No. Alright. And you don't sell spells either. Thanks. Thank you very much. Actually, you know what? I don't need to sleep. Sleep's for the week. Yes, Plus, I regained my health from the uh, ride want? home. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Do you have any duties for me? <laughs> um Okay. Okay, so she wants me to sabotage someone else what happens yes, if i go talk with the uh lovely and very high and mighty gabardier uh let's see what is this about breton oh oh so i'm just a breton racist all right well I handled that pretty easily I don't know if I can help you but I'll try yeah you're a racist lady you're a racist Breton 
Mufsera? Alright. That's one quest. A journey must now study local flowers. Cool connect stone flower petals, willow antlers, and heather. Where is Lake Amaya? Past Moon Moth Fort. And then blah 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 blah. Go towards Suron. All the flowers. Uh near the path to Suron. Alright. I think I should be able to just travel to Suron, perhaps? Uh, what spells do you have? Ooh, Soul Trap. That'd be really good for enchanting. Uh, do you have any levitation spells, per chance? No. Alright, well. Uh, it's about the half hour mark. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. Uh, so that'll be it for this session. Uh, be sure to like, comment, uh, you know, whatever, uh, slowly caress across the cheek this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.